What is going on YouTube? Taylor here from ohheader.com and in today's video we are going to be talking about sourcing products for certain holidays and seasons throughout the year, finding profitable products before they are in demand and getting yourself in a position for success when those times come. You may have be asking yourself, I've never sourced for a, a, a specific product or for a specific holiday or season. Uh, how do I go about doing that? Well, like many of you, you may be reliant on lead lists or tactical arbitrage or maybe your own manual sourcing to find your online arbitrage leads. But my question to you is, are you being smart with that data? Are you going back into that old data and targeting specific keywords and categories for upcoming seasons that might be a month or two or three away? Are you developing a plan to put yourself in a position of success? If the answer to those questions are no, or you really don't know how you would go about doing that, I'm really excited to show you this video today. You're gonna to learn a whole bunch. Stay tuned for the end for an exclusive offer to this tool that we're gonna be using in, the, in today's video. Other than that, guys, let's go ahead and just dive right into it, and I'll see you in a little bit. First things first, let's talk about the tool that we will be using to go through and find these products that are gonna be really great for certain holidays and certain seasons throughout the year. And that tool is gonna be the new Cheddarsoft lead and order management tool from us here at OA Cheddar. Cheddarsoft was designed by OA sellers for OA sellers. It is designed to get rid of your Google Sheet systems and to put your business into one easy to use platform so you can easily access all of your lead data, whether it's today's data or from years ago, and also create buy lists, uh, record your orders, create shipping batches, and really just cover that entire span of from lead to shipping to FBA all in one single system. To learn more about Cheddarsoft, go ahead and check us out at software.ohcheddar.com. There is a great video here uh, where we do a webinar explaining how this tool works and why we created it, as well as you can just scroll through this page and get a lot of great information as how it works. Currently right now, we do have a 30-day free trial. So if you sign up, you're not gonna pay anything for the first 30 days. Come into the system, deposit your leads, and then go ahead and start messing around with it. And, you're, and I promise you, you're gonna find that you're gonna be saving time and increasing your profits because you're gonna be looking at products that are older and thus have less competition and higher ROIs. So let's jump into our Cheddarsoft account. And the part of Cheddarsoft we're gonna be using today is the smart data. Smart data is where all your leads will live. And this is where you can search and, and sort your lead data to target whether it's a specific source or a sale, or like today what we're gonna be doing is gonna be searching for certain keywords to get ourselves ready for the upcoming seasons and holidays. In Smart Data, I'm going to first go to my date range and I'm going to set up a custom date range. I want to look at, uh, let's just look at all the leads from 2021. So I'll set myself up for January 1st, 2021. And then I don't want to see anything that has been shared in the last 90 days. Let's just search all of 2021. And we're also going to organize this by supplier and we're going to go from A to Z. I like to organize and sort by supplier. That way I can see all the leads from a specific supplier. I can go through that, those, those leads and then move on to my next supplier. Uh, let me just update these filters real quick and just to show you uh, how many leads that we'd be uh, looking at if just within that date range of time we should be looking somewhere right now i'm looking at 11,388, and that's just in the last 90 days so in all of 2021 we ended up having about 52,000 leads that we're going to be going through now that is an overwhelming amount for anybody to just scroll through and start sourcing from so let's go ahead and start narrowing down our results by searching for certain keywords this is a great uh, strategy if you are getting yourself ready for q4 things like the keyword christmas could be huge so if you search Christmas, it is gonna go through all of this lead data within this date range, and it's only gonna show you the leads that have the keyword Christmas in the product title. It could also uh, be looking for keywords in, like in the coupon code. If there was a specific uh, coupon code that had the word Christmas, that would also pull out as well. And now you can see I'm looking at 209 results. I'm only looking at 25 of them right now, and that's 25 per page. And each one of these leads will have the keyword Christmas inside it in some way or another. So whether that is the Nightmare Before Christmas, or if it is the Nightmare Before Christmas Monopoly set, or if this is a Jolly Christmas by Frank Sinatra, a CD or a, or a vinyl record that you can search through. 
and you can just come, go down this list and you can just start looking and, and opening up these links for different items that are specifically for Christmas. Likewise, let's say I want to search for toys and games because Again, we are talking about the Christmas season. I'm gonna search the keyword toys. And what that's gonna do is if there, the keyword toys is inside the title, it'll pull up those results. But also it's gonna be searching for the toy and game category and showing me all the results from the toy and game category organized by the supplier so I can easily and efficiently find those products. I have 6,666 leads that have the keyword toys in it. And as I scroll down here, you can see that all the categories are toys and games and there is different items here so whether it's a funko pop figure um, even hydro floss because it looks like this uh, item was originally in the toys and games category it looks like it uh, correctly too because it's a kid's lunchbox so maybe a missed missed categorized product but you can see what we're doing here is we're searching for that keyword toys and we're going through and we are finding specific items with that keyword in it now this is march and Christmas is kind of a ways away, but we are starting to transition from winter into the spring and summer months. So let's start thinking of what is a keyword that could be good for the spring and summer months. Uh, maybe something like super soaker. So super soaker, you know, squirt guns are always really popular come the summer months. So if I'm searching the word super soaker it is now going to go through my lead data within this date range and only show me results that have the keyword super soaker in it. And now I'm looking at 10 leads. And these 10 leads all have the keyword super soaker in it. And I could go through these and search those. Um, another keyword, let's think, let's get creative here. Sandals. Sandals is an item that you will find uh, it becomes more popular during the spring and summer months. People are kicking off their boots from winter and they're getting themselves ready for the higher temperatures. So we're going to search the keyword sandal. Was, we're going back through the last year's worth of data. I've pulled out 745 results and I can then start scrolling through. And what I would normally do is I just come up to the first lead. We're looking at 6pm.com as the supplier. And we were looking at a sandal. Uh, it was a size 10 in black leather. So if I come over to the Amazon listing, I'll see that, yep, here sure enough is the black leather sandal. And then let me come over here to the 6 p.m. listing. And I see that that black leather is not available. Now, before I just close out these tabs and move on, let me take a look at this. Because one thing that catches my eye here is the $60 price point. That's 50% off what these sandals normally are selling for, which is around $120. So can I find this tan and leopard print color inside the Amazon listing? And if so, would it be profitable? So I'm going to come down here to my variations. I'm going to scroll through and right there tan leopard okay so I found the correct color so let's go ahead and select that and let's check the sizes it looks like anywhere from size 6 to size 12 are available so let me come over here and let's just start with size 9 and I can see here that right now the FBA price is $119.95 so if I'm buying these for $60 I'd be looking at a net profit of $34.40 and an ROI of 57% now let's scroll down to the Keepa chart and see whether or not we would want to purchase that it first looks at the last three months of history and I would say that this item really isn't selling too quickly um, I have two offer count drops that have happened in the last 90 days and for the most part it's pretty much a flat line on offers and a flat line in the price but the last three months were the Christmas and winter months it wouldn't surprise me that people aren't really looking for sandals during that let's look at the last year and in the last year I see that this item was definitely selling a little bit better come the summer months you see that these off this offer count movement happening uh, I would say around the end of April beginning of May and you also see the sales rank drop as well granted that is on the parent ASIN that is not necessarily for the specific color and size but for the all of these variations um, let me look at the all time and I can see back in March this product came into market offers rose and you start to see these offer count drops happening which means that the items are selling around August you started to see a dip in the offers uh, start to happen. It looks like a Merchant Fulfill offer dropped their price while the FBA was still holding strong at 120. And then you kind of see the history of what happened with this item. Granted, first looks, I would say maybe maybe this wouldn't be the best purchase, but a couple things that catch my attention. Right now, there's only one offer on this. That means there's only one person selling this these shoes 
and we're coming right into the perfect season for when these start to get into a higher demand. So could I purchase one or two of these items and be profitable? And my, my guess would be yes, I, I should be able to easily sell one or two of these without running into too many issues, especially with when you're talking about super low competition and also 6 p.m. being the web, the source. Uh, for those familiar with 6 p.m., uh, they're usually an outlet type store. So you're gonna be finding products that might be last year's models that are still perfectly good products, but maybe they're not making any more of this specific version. So I gotta take all those things into consideration. Let's look at another size, let's look at the size 10. Right off the bat, FBA price is profitable since I'm buying this at 60, they're selling around $120 again. And I can come in here and I see a little bit better stuff with this graph. I see an offer count movement here and you just see how there's offer counts have uh, declined over the last three months. And right now it's sitting at two current offers at $120. Let's look at the year. And in the year I see, of course, yep, come the summer months, this item is more popular, which just makes sense, it's a sandal. And you see this offer count movement is greater and it's selling at $120 until about August. And then you see the price dip down to around $84. Let's just see what it would look like at $84. I'd still be making a little bit of profit and basically breaking even for this product uh, back you know, at the lowest that it has sold for in the last year. Um, that's just kind of my safety net there. Ideally though, I wanna be selling this really right in the beginning of the season, right when people are really gonna be searching for their summer sandals. And this size 10 definitely looks attractive. I should probably go ahead and buy a couple of those. And then I would normally just come through and look at the rest of these sizes here, but for the sake of time in this video, we're just gonna go ahead and skip past that. Let me come back over to Cheddarsoft. And what I could do guys, if I wanted to purchase that sandal, I could go and I can add a lead. I could fill this out and put the product title, the ace and all this stuff and actually create a lead inside of Cheddarsoft. So that way I have a lead inside my system that I can come back to next year or later on in the year and, and still purchase from. And I'm doing that as I am rabbit trailing down uh, from a lead that was originally shared back in March, 2021. And then I could just work my way down this list of different sandals from different suppliers and, and pull out some really profitable items just like that. So guys, that's how you're going to be using Cheddarsoft to source for specific sale uh, seasons and specific holidays. If you want to do things like candy, for example, uh, say you're getting ready for Halloween, Halloween candy is always a big seller. So search the keyword candy. You'll then be able to go through all your listings that have the keyword candy in it, or maybe Halloween costumes. You know, another thing that comes with spring and summer are things like football and soccer. So if we just typed in the keyword soccer, because you got little kiddos who are gonna go out and start their, their soccer leagues. So searching the keyword soccer and seeing, hey, what, what leads do I have that come from this keyword? Can, can I start uh, planning my purchases or actually purchasing items before the demand hits. And as you can see here, there's there's 181 leads that I've pulled out that have the keyword soccer in it. And I could go down these leads here and see what, hey, what can I purchase or what do I need to be put on my watch list to be ready to purchase once they come back in stock. Other than that, guys, that's gonna wrap it up for this video right here. Uh, I really strongly encourage that you come and check out Cheddarsoft and put your lead data in there. I will tell you when you start tapping in and using your old data to be sourcing for today's present date, you will start finding that you're opening yourself up to just more profitable products with less competition and thus higher ROIs. To learn more about Cheddarsoft, again, go to software.ohheader.com and take a look at this page. Check, it, check out this webinar video that we did. If you guys thought this video was helpful and you liked it, please like and subscribe to the channel. It helps us out immensely. We are planning to continue to come out with more content uh, on the not just in Cheddarsoft, but really uh, for the online arbitrage community. Other than that, guys, I will see you all on the next one.